we tend to treat our lover and our path or practice the same way. So for example, some people have an anxious attachment style. They may or may not have hurt or sadness repression with that. They're afraid of losing someone, being abandoned again, being hurt in relationship. And so they might cling to people in relationship, and they might do the same thing with a path or a practice or a teacher, clinging to that person, actually believing that without that person there, they can't be free, they can't heal. Well, first of all, this could be very costly on the spiritual path. We have put an end to just that kind of codependent helping of people with an anxious attachment. We're helping people make conscious the conditioning that sabotages the spiritual path, just like it sabotages relationships. Why is it a sabotage in the path or practice like it is relationships? Well, because we're afraid. And the prospect of losing someone in relationship brings us too close to the buried emotions, the fear, the hurt, the sadness that we're afraid of. And then also a, a very good spiritual practice like KI that gets to buried emotions creates the same fear for us. If we get too close to it on our own and actually process our stuff, we may have to feel what's buried. So to be with someone else and to not pay attention to our buried emotions and to let them guide us in a bypass, for example, keeps us bonded to that person, keeps our anxious attachment in place and the hurt repression with it. So I knew this about teachings a long time ago before I did my own trauma work, that there was something about people bonding to teachers that was not healthy. And now I know why. I never had an anxious attachment style. As a teacher, I noticed that people would be clinging to me in an anxious way, I had to do my work as an avoidant teacher who wouldn't open to people. But once I did my work and I turned towards people with an anxious attachment, they have to recognize that they're putting so much pressure on the helper or teacher to do that for them, which is impossible. They actually have to learn to trust themselves. They have to use the relationship with a teacher or a helper to begin processing the buried stuff that makes them need to be seen and witnessed by somebody else. Once they can trust themselves and process on their own, they have a secure attachment in their relationship. They don't cling in the same way. They don't suffer. And because they dealt with that in the practice, they're free. Their spiritual practice would bring them embodied freedom. Embodied freedom in the relationship, embodied freedom from the path. They're the same thing. We treat our lover as we do our path. Here's the link below.